So there we go, we're in here back with a banger. Today we're in Great Bar. We've come to a place called Scram Man, which serves all kinds of delicious street food. I think they do Philly cheesesteaks, which I'm yeah really hyped about, so we're going to try some of that. And they've got other items too that look quite unique and sort of distinct for Birmingham food scene at the moment. So I'm going to go there, check it out, yeah, and let you guys know how it's going to be. But I'm really pumped. Oh, Scram, by the way, is a... Um, synonym for food it's like a slang word for food which i didn't actually know to be honest probably should know but i didn't but yeah anyway let's get going just got into scrum man absolutely yeah settings quite simple got a lot of sort of nice artwork to be honest too it's pretty cool yeah really yeah extra height extra extra height gone for a few things firstly gone for the uh, Philly cheesesteak. They do like different sizes. We've gone for the big one just to make sure yeah, we're covered on, on that side of things. They've also got some unique items and it de depending on the day of the week that you come here, they've got different items too. Like they do tacos, I think on Wednesday, Thursday, then Sunday it's like a seafood type thing. So it's, um, yeah, have a look out depending on the day you come, what you're getting because you may or may not get what you want. Philly cheesesteak, burgers and that through the week so I'm gonna try that and uh, yeah see how they are. Yeah in terms of seating like there's not a ton but you can come in and obviously take away I think that's what most people are doing to be honest with you. Yeah food has arrived and it's looking mad like this look at this 10 inch bleach is that it is yeah it's quite quite hefty to be honest but that, that's my high expectation there but everything looks absolutely banging to be honest. I think, yeah, first things first, probably start with the sides first, which are the boss man's recommendations were the, the shrimp and the mac and cheese. And then we also got a, a Nashville burger. And the burger meal actually comes with extra wings, which is, yeah, pretty cool to be honest. But then I had to get, obviously, like I said, cheesesteak too. So I think we're gonna start with the, the shrimp probably, and then make our way to, yeah, everything else. Yeah, sorry, I meant to say a hot Louisiana burger, by the way, not uh, Nashville. I'm, I'm used to having Nashville for some reason. But yeah, it's all, I think all the food here is like um, soul, soul food orientated. Loads of variety, but yeah, it's all looking phenomenal, to be honest with you. Yeah, like I said, I'm going to tuck in and uh, yeah, probably start with the sides. It's a pretty, uh, pretty hot, I'm going to say summer's day, but a hot spring day, so I've got some, yeah, Rubicon mango. This just absolutely bangs in it. Nice warm day. And I think it sort of goes in the theme of soul food. Probably not, but you get my gist. But yeah, like I said, gonna dig into the, the mac and cheese first, I think. So yeah, as promised, gonna start with the mac and cheese. It's quite a good portion as well. And it's got, it's cheesy, saucy, and then there's like crispy. I think it's just the crease, the, the crease, the cheese. That's caramelised on top too, like these brown bits. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah. Anyway, you just try it. I don't often get mac and cheese to be honest with you, but for yeah, chef's recommendation, gonna have to try it. You know. Normally it's my missus I get some mac and cheese, and I'm. Yeah. That is a. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. To be honest, the main thing I came for was the cheese steak. Yeah. But I think as your your colleague says, yeah, get the get the mac and cheese. So yeah, big big up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that is well nice. Like the the crusty bit on top is just, you know, like when you get lasagna and you've got like the crust on top. It's it's exactly like that, but they've just made it in a way that's so. Like, yeah, absolutely banging. And the sauce in there is really nice too. It's like a, like a spicy mayo. And then obviously cheese, mac and cheese. And, uh, well, cheese and macaroni, should I say. It's, uh, yeah, really, really decent. Next we've got the shrimp. And we've gone for lemon and pepper flavor, I believe. As you can see, like, it's almost created like a, a batter almost on the, and the shrimp. Mmm, that's incredible, look. It's 
juicy, batter, batter on it's really nice too. And like the lemon flavour doesn't kick in till the end, so you think like you've had it, that's it, but yeah, flavour just kicks in at the end. Yeah, yeah. absolute banger. I, yeah, recommend that too, like, so far. Yeah, no disappointments far from it, to be honest. Yeah, really well seasoned too. And like I was just saying to Sabrina, I don't like sides, generally. I just like big burgers, big big names, but yeah, those two sides are, yeah, highly recommended. Definitely worth, yeah, definitely worth the value. Yeah, next we've got the hot Louisiana burger. And the meal comes with, obviously, fries, but you can also get a meal with extra wings too. I think it's just a standard sauce. It looks like a, sort of like a, I don't want to say jerk, but like a barbecue type sauce. Yeah, you are enough talking. Yeah, absolutely bangs. Wings, yeah, well seasoned, juicy. Yeah, so far expectations are not just met, I think they're exceeded at this point. And I haven't even got to the, the main event yet. This is just, yeah, incredible, incredible stuff. Yeah, and there's like a char on the on the wings, which is like, yeah, extraordinary too. It's not just the season, it's like the whole, the whole process is just, yeah, that's so good, man. Mm. The wings are on a bit of fries, so I've got to try some of the fries. Yeah, really well seasoned. It's almost like, flavour-wise, it's almost like eating, I don't know, crisps in a way, but they're chips. Mm. Yeah, they're wow good. Like, I don't know if you can see, like, just the, you can see the amount of spice on there, and then it's all saucy, and it's all, yeah, all, all good. Like I said, those are just the sides. Now we need to get on to the, the main events. Yeah, also guys, please drop me a like, comment, subscribe below, that'd be much appreciated. Yeah, next we've got the uh, hot Louisiana burger, and this looks absolutely, yeah, insane. I think it's two tenders in a burger bun, cheese, sauce, all that good stuff. And they're pretty jack tenders as well. They're not tiny, they're pretty, yeah, pretty big. And again, I'm expecting this to be, yeah, packed with a lot of heat. Ooh. Man, that is incredible. I've like literally, yeah, lost all words. That is just, yeah, well seasoned, well spiced. A good amount of spice, but not too spicy. Well, that spice definitely kicks in afterwards, but. Mm. Really juicy as well. Just like the cheese there, yeah. No, no, almost there, man. The is it hot Louisiana? Yeah. I think it's like one of the best chicken burgers in town, honestly. And I've had loads. <laughs> I've had a lot. Yeah. I think it's top three main event. This is looking absolutely banging. Let's look at this. Just absolutely stacked. This is the 10 inch. This is like the biggest option you can get. So if you get the five inch, it'll be, yeah, half the size. A bit like a sub in a way, but not entirely sure which way I'm gonna get it from. I'll go this side. Yeah, the yeah, cross section. Yeah, so it's pretty nice. Yeah, that is so delicious. Meat's nice, flavorful. It's a bit spicy as well, like there's a, I think they put the spicy mayo in it as well. Sort of like, uh, yeah, differentiate it from a normal sort of cheesesteak. Really hefty, but absolutely delicious. And I really like the, the I think it's a hoagie roll, but it's, yeah, proper, yeah, proper nice, just keeping it all together. Well, trying to at least, but it's, yeah, so, so delicious. Definitely worth, worth the visit. Yeah, that's going to keep me happy for a few more hours, I think.
here and the bits of beef are almost like a bit of a weird comparison, but it's almost like the like Donna style size, if that makes sense. So they it's meaty, it's full of like meaty flavour, but then when you eat into it, it just sort of like dissolves in your mouth, which is yeah, absolutely what you need in this in this package. It's just hands down <coughs> best Philly cheesesteak in Brum. I don't think I've had. I mean, it's the only one I've had, but I think it's going to be hard to beat. Yeah really hard to beat that is just really delicious and then like I said it's a lot different because it's got peppers it's got like chili mayo in there so it is different from a normal one but I think that's a good thing innovation yeah approved on this take yeah that's a 10 10 that's a winner that's yeah worth coming back for I think I know it's a yeah opposite side of town for us but yeah well worth the visit I wouldn't eat, I would even like, it's that good I think, I could move to this area just so I could get this as a takeaway, it's, it's sort of that good. <laughs> hey guys, hopefully you, you found a yeah, new place to get a takeaway, this, yeah, like I said, absolutely, absolutely worth the visit. Uh, what would I recommend? Everything, <laughs> everything's just really good, I guess it's just up to personal preference of what you want to have, but get the burger, get the cheesesteak, get the mac and cheese, get the prawns. Might have to come back and check out some new items at some point as well, but yeah, so absolutely banging. But yeah guys, that's going to call it a day, and I'll uh, yeah, catch you guys on the next one. See you then.